Hello, I'm Daphne Lambert, chef and nutritionist, and have just received this box from Organico for Organic Unboxed, and I'm going to unpack it and see what they've sent me. Mm. So, I have some of their Italian Durham wheat pasta and some of their rice. So we have one of each. We have the wild red rice, their wonderful white rice and the um, black rice as well. So that's quite special. I'm sure we can do something with those. Then we have um, capers. olives, aubergine paste, red pepper paste, the balsamic vinegar, both as the vinegar and the glaze, which is really good that glaze. And finally, we have some of their olive oil. So, I think with some of the vegetables that I've got already here, along with some herbs from the herb garden, we could turn those ingredients into a few dishes. Okay, so I've been out into the garden and collected some herbs and some flowers, and we're going to make a herb dressing with the olive oil and these herbs and um, make a pasta salad. Then, with the rice, I've just soaked the white and the um, black rice and we're going to make little pancakes which is quite interesting so they're gluten-free pancakes. I'll soak them for about 20 minutes and then we'll whiz it up and turn it into little pancakes and on the top of the pancakes we can put some of the um, aubergine paste and the um, red pepper paste. Okay so here we have the two rice batters. The white rice was soaked just for 10 minutes in some water and then um, whizzed up to make a batter and the same with the, um, the black rice. And I'm going to flavour each of the rices with a different herb. So um, I think what would be really nice in the um, black rice um, is some thyme and in the white rice, the, um, some, some chive and some chive flowers. So if you just very quickly. Just... Then I've cooked the pasta, so we need to strain that and we're going to leave it to cool down in a herb dressing, basil, chives, a bit of rosemary, it's warm, you can sprinkle on those herbs, and nice and So the batters are ready and we're going to make tiny little pancakes, a bit like blinny, um, just very gently cooked in um, a pan on the heat. So, one dessert spoon, we'll make the right size. Just carefully cook them in the pan. Turn the heat down and cook them until the um, surface area is set. Once that is set, you can flip them over and cook the other side. Okay, here we have the finished pancakes and we're going to top them with the aubergine paste and the roasted red pepper paste. So the little black ones will have the contrast of the um, beautiful bright orange red 
pepper. Voilà. And the chive ones will top with the uh, roast aubergine. We're going to finish the pasta dish. This has cooled down in the olive oil and the herbs, so those beautiful flavours have um, gone through into the pasta. And into that, we're going to lay chicory, avocado, and some dulls. This is a perfect dish for um, uh, before a workout. So it's got um, good carb in the pasta, but at the same time, it's got um, masses of minerals from the seaweed and the combination of the good fats in the avocado and the olive oil. Um, so actually it is supportive for um, the cardiovascular system, for strong bones, for muscles and for good thinking, mentality. So I think this is a really good salad. to some peas sprouts which I have here. So I'm just going to finish the pasta dish off with some of these large green olives. Um, so then we've ended up with a salad that has lovely combination of flavours and textures. We've got the crunchy, the creamy, and the salty, and the sweet. There we go. And the little pancakes we've finished off with some garden flowers. And now to go with it, um, some beautiful salad leaves that I brought back from Trill Farm at yesterday. And on top of that, we're going to put some of the little um, caper buds. So these are the pickled buds of the caper plant. And um, although we just tend to think of these as a sort of little garnish, they are actually potent antioxidants. And so we're going to sprinkle um, a couple of tablespoons of these over. So there we have the buds. And then I'm going to just put a little bit of balsamic over. Like that. And then finally some of this lovely olive oil. And on top. A summer salad. And if you'd like the recipes, they're all going to be available online. <laughs>